Well, I hope y'all are enjoying our turkey uh, hunts and episodes so far. We've been posting a new turkey video every week, so make sure and head over to our Turkey Camp 24 playlist and check out all those videos if you love turkey hunting. Uh, there's some pretty good ones on there, and every week we're posting a new one. Along with that, we're going to be posting some farm projects and things we're going to do to prep for turkey season. Um, so y'all be sure to head over there and check that out. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoy this episode. So today I'm out here, and... I wanted to give a quick update on our pond lake project. Um, I was gonna try to keep updates on it as we built it, and I did some, I took some videos and things as we were building. I just did not post them. I did, did a terrible job on that, and I do apologize, but I'm out here today. I wanted to give an update. We're not 100% done yet, um, but we've been getting a little bit of rain, and it's starting to fill up and look like something finally. So um, I just wanted to kind of come in the same spot I did last time. Um, I know last time on the lake project it was a little bit hard to see anything that looked the shape of a lake because of the way it was laid out and everything. But now you can finally start to see it take uh, shape a little bit. And uh, I'm going to run around to the other side and show you at the same place where I showed you last time. Um, but this is kind of what it's looking like. I mean, it's starting to fill up. We had the little mishap with the Traco over there and thankfully we were able to get a new one and keep working on it. But you can see it here. It's filling up nice. Um, we still got a ton of dirt over here on this end and piled up and we got some down there in the bottom. We have several piles around and we're going to dig out quite a bit more on this side yet to, to bring this slope up a little further. And uh, with all that dirt, we're going to go down there on the pond dam, and we're going to build that up about another four foot all the way across there. So we'll be up a little bit higher all the way across that pond dam. So big things. Uh, this type of stuff takes a lot of time, and we've been working on a lot of other projects and different farms. So we haven't been able to focus on this like we would have liked, but we're getting there and uh, slowly but surely starting to look like a lake. We just had a little rain today, so it's a little muddy out here, but um, we planted all this in behind me. You can see the, the shooting house back there for plot five. All that was planted in beans and corn this year and did really good. And then we planted this side uh, pretty late, I guess probably in October or sometime. We just broadcasted a bunch of stuff in this to try to keep it from washing and get something growing here. But right in here is pretty close to where I was standing last time, I think, when I did a video. But you can see down there, starting to really fill up. And we dug this holler out. I don't know if you can see it much here, but we dug this out a lot. Um, you can see there's a rock ledge all along there. And that was about the level of the, the dirt back here. So we dug that down probably 15 or 20 feet right there. And to that way when the water comes up, it'll back up in there and we'll have some there. We're hoping that when we get this filled up, it'll come all the way back into this holler. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work out or not, but we haven't shot it recently with a transit from the top of the dam to where it is, but that's the goal is to try to get it back this way as much as we can and get it up into these trees. So that way there'll be some shade and stuff around it on this end for the fish and all that to get into. When you get down here, um, it looks totally different. Um, looking up that way you know the level that we're on here i mean it doesn't look like it's nearly gonna go all the way back up in there we're hoping it does i need to shoot it again with a transit to make sure but you can see here it's filling up nice um right here where it's at now is probably about 15 foot deep right there in the center so it's really deep but it just didn't go very far so we need a lot more rain it'll fill up pretty quick with all these valleys coming together like this and up there on top there's actually a little wet spring that runs during most of the winter this year it hasn't been coming out like it was last year but last year up there on the road it was always a muddy mess where the spring kept coming out hopefully it'll keep filling up nice um we got a lot of water that needs to, to go in here um this traco ended up selling it to somebody on facebook and they're not coming and picking it up so i'm not sure what we're going to do with that it may be one of those deals that we just end up pushing it down in the water or something um if they don't come get it so trying to get a little something out of it if i can but if i if i can't we'll just push it down in here and uh use it for the fish to swim around or something drain all the well but over here is plot four um it come up nice this year so we got this shooting house 
And one thing that I think is going to be great for one, deer are going to cross, once this fills up, they're going to cross this pond dam or even down here in the bottom. And they'll be coming right by this blind or the shooting house and coming out in bow range into the field if they're coming from this side. It's a big thick bedding area on the back side of this hill. A lot of the deer bed over there and then come out over here or go into plot five, which is up there on top in the evenings to eat. So regardless i think this is going to be a good spot we'll have it planted over there we'll have all this planted and something and should be a lot of food right around this area and a lot of water the deer used to bed right up in this in this uh edge here and then since we did this obviously they're not going to bed here anymore which was kind of the goal because every time sneak into that blind or sneak into this blind we would bust deer out of this holler so now that this is done they're not going to be bedding in here and i think it'll be a whole lot better so we came in and built a shelf all the way around this edge and then you can see it going all the way around and then it drops off super steep straight on both sides and almost had some ledges and stuff up underneath. We hit a lot of rock and we were hoping that that would give the fish somewhere to go kind of on that ledge, get down in the bottom there and then obviously we have this shelf which is not really going to do anything probably for the fish. I don't know, it might. But... The goal was to get in one of these trees and put in a big rope swing and probably put a big dock coming out. And so we wanted it as deep as we could possibly get it right here on this end to where if we swing off of one of these trees and swing out into it, that it would be plenty deep. So that's kind of what we were shooting for here. And I think we nailed it. Um, this end is gonna be extremely deep. So we still have, when you can see here, I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but to me, I mean, it's twice or three times taller than I am. So we're looking at another 20 feet high from where I'm standing. Plus we still got another three or four foot to come up to the top of the ledge. So it'll be super deep right in here. And I think it's gonna be good. We should be able to hopefully do some fishing and swimming, whatever else we wanna do in here. If we can get it to hold water, we're a little bit concerned about, especially this side. Um, you can see the rocks right here. I mean, it's pretty bad rock ledge and we were worried about it holding water, but it looks like it's gonna do all right. Um, it hasn't rained in a couple days. It's just now starting to rain again and it really hasn't went down any at all. So hopefully it'll stay where it's at. You can see back here, it might've went down a little bit, a couple inches or so, but not too bad. So hopefully it'll all soak in and Maybe we can fill this thing up and we gotta come in this summer and finish all the dam and put the overflows and stuff in. But as slow as it's filling up, there's probably no hurry to get that done either. It's starting to rain pretty hard, so I'm gonna head back out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a lot of farm projects this summer. We also have a big development deal we're doing on some other farms. Uh, one of them for hunting and one of them we're splitting up and selling for lots to build houses on and then we're splitting the back parts up and uh, doing hunting tracks with those. So if y'all like that kind of thing, be sure and hit that subscribe button. We're really looking to ramp up our YouTube page this year. So be sure and help us out. And as always, thanks for watching.